Hello and welcome, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can get the data in Unreal that we stored last time on PlayFab. So to start, let's open our game instance and add here a new custom event. I'll call it get PlayFab user data. And this event should run a node called get user data. And here you see we have again two nodes get user data here. The one is uh, here, the one is uh, target is playfib admin API, and the other is uh, playfib client API. Make sure you take in the client one here. Uh, then for the request, we're making it. And the keys, we can just add here a new pin to our custom event. And the playfab ID will be our user ID. So the variable we stored here in a second tutorial in the player logged in. Like so. Now we're going here on the on success, add a new custom event, get user data success and for on failure the same custom event get user data failed again like last times if it fails we're just printing the error message and if it was successful we're breaking the result and now looking on the data we're we get the field, and for the field name, we're here again from data, get field names. Here you get the copy, the first, so index zero of that, and plug it in field names here. And now from here, from this return value, search for S object, like so. And now in this, from this object, we're getting the field names again. And again, the index zero of that. And then here, we're getting string field because the variables we stored in Python are strings. And then we can just plug it in here and now we can just print string and print this string field. Okay, so let's just compile. So last step is just to execute this event here. And for that, let's go to our widget gun. And here is the get button. Let's say if the player clicked this button, then we're just here from the game instance get play get play fab user data and now we can take here the string field called for example uh, jumps and now we can test it Okay, wrong password. Let's try again. Okay, now let's get the data. And here you see 19. Now we can set the jumps again to a random value. And now let's get it. And you see we have the new value of 95. And of course, we can also here type shots. So we're getting the shots data. It should be 8 then. So let's try it. Are we getting the data now? You see 8. So that was the tutorial. I hope I was able to help you. 
And that was probably not the last tutorial about PlayFab. And goodbye.